So let me tell you first why I'm speaking in English. There is a single reason that is to achieve a broader audience. And the intention is that my work and my message can possibly inspire and help a lot more people from all over the world. If you are used to my videos in Brazilian Portuguese, don't worry, because I made sure to include Portuguese subtitles in it. And in the previous Portuguese videos, we will also have English subtitles. For all of you who don't know me, my name is Ale Rodrigues and I'm a Brazilian landscape photographer. You can find more about my work on my website. I will leave a link here. And you can also follow me on social media. I'll leave all the links down here in the description of this video. Um, as some of you who follow me on Instagram already, you might have noticed uh, on my stories uh, a few weeks ago, I went on a trip to uh, Lençóis Maranhenses in the state of Maranhão here in Brazil. So the reason I went there was to get to know the place. Uh, I tried last year, but I couldn't go there for several reasons. But this year I managed to travel there. It was my first time in Lençóis and uh, my intention, uh, besides getting to know the place and also take some photos, was to eventually run a photography workshop there in the future. Uh, however, uh, during my trip, uh, a lot has happened. And the more I, I faced those uh, absolutely stunning landscapes, or, or should I say sandscapes, <laughs> It was very, very, very different from anything that I have seen in the whole world. It is a unique place with a unique beauty. Oh man, those sand dunes shaped by the winds and the colors of the lagoons are simply out of this world. I was amazed at how beautiful it can be, either if it is sunny, it's clouded or even rainy. colors and contrast changes accordingly. It was an explosion of shapes, contrasts, colors. It is truly a landscape photographer's paradise. But it was so challenging to photograph, to find compositions. Uh, the landscape sometimes can get very repetitive, uh, like a lot of repeating patterns. So it, 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 this makes a real challenge to shoot something different. And you add that to the fact that the place is hot and humid. And also the sand is very thin and the wind is almost a constant during the whole day. It is a challenge, for example, to change lenses or uh, to get close to the floor uh, since the sand is so thin, it can get everywhere on your equipment. As I said before, it wasn't my primary intention to shoot a photographic series there. But as the days were passing by, I was getting less and less anxious about, about the place. And so I was able to let my mind finally relax. I went on a trip with my wife Leticia, who is also my partner in a lot of photo adventures. Uh, after about day four of the trip, uh, suddenly when I was shooting a, a sand dune with an emerald lagoon, that something came to my mind. Uh, the word pureza, which is a Portuguese word for uh, purity. Uh, it's weird, as it was, uh, it was like I was downloading something from the unconscious mind. It was so clear for me what I had to shoot, what lens to use, what color palette to use in post-production. Um, this all happened in, in this day, uh, while I was uh, photographing, kind of like in stick or in pulse, and I really wasn't expecting that. Uh, I was not worrying so much about uh, techniques or composition, but 
just being who I am and capturing what came to my attention and what matters to me in that moment in time. Observing tones, colors, shapes, movements, details, just letting it flow and being immersed in the present moment. I was so focused on what I was shooting that I forgot about the heat and the sand or uh, having to walk a lot um, to find what I was looking for, what I felt. The idea was to find scenes untouched by humans, uh, like footsteps or any cars or people in it, just pure, raw nature as it was before human presence. Thus the name pureza or purity. So, basically, I was using the same lens and camera the whole time. I used the Canon 5D Mark IV and a 70 to 200 f4 lens. Sometimes, if I felt it was needed, I put a polarizer or a ND filter when I wanted to make a cloud or water movement more subtle in long exposure. I went for an almost square crop or 4x3 crop for most of my photos but I did not limit myself in this. I also did very little post-production in Lightroom or Photoshop. Um, I, always, uh, I have always left my histogram close to the right when I was shooting, and maybe, uh, contrary to what most people are used to see in Instagram and social media and those very saturated, high-contrast landscape photos, um, for this series, I went through uh, another route, one that resonated more with what I was feeling when shooting those images. A very subtle contrast, a more peaceful, more dreamy, more calm, muted colors, a calmer look overall, a, a more high-key image with a minimalist composition focusing on main elements of nature-shaped dunes, lagoons and skies. So, uh, I used a very low contrast. Uh, I even decreased a little sometimes and reduced all oranges and yellows from the sand, um, trying to keep the, the minimal, minimalist approach even in the color palette. I know that many of these photos might not have the wow effect many photographers and viewers uh, are used to see on digital medium, uh, with a high contrast and saturation that uh, screams for attention, but instead I was truthful to myself and my feelings as an artist photographer. Uh, I was not worried about what others might think, uh, but it was all about what I have felt and being honest with myself and my photography. <laughs>